This video is basically the same as the previous video except it's reverse acting. That is, as the drive output frequency increases and the water level rises, the process variable or sensor level decreases. We're going to use the exact same setup as in the previous video so we won't repeat all that setup discussion here. I did invert the sensor output so it would behave in a reverse acting sense. On this sensor you just hold the teach button down for 8 seconds and it automatically inverts the output for you. To switch from forward to reverse acting we only need to change these guys. We need to tell PID the sensor signal is reverse acting by setting parameter 7.0 to a 3. We need to change the set point. Let's say we want the set point to be up here at 90% full. The sensor is reversed so it will tell us the tank is 10% empty. 10% of 60 Hz is 6 Hz so we enter that for our set point. You can view the set point in percent by adjusting the parameters in group 8. We're not going to take the time to do that in this video. We also need to change our wake and sleep set points to match the reverse acting sensor. In the previous video we found the sleep and wake levels are relative to the set point. So since the set point is at 10% and suppose I want to shut the motor down at another 50% of that then my sleep level is 150% of the set point which would be 9 Hz. Wake up is the same thing but the largest number you can put in for wake or sleep is 200%. So we'll put that in for our wake up which means the drive should wake up at 200% of our 6 Hz set point which is 12 Hz or 20% of full scale. So sleep and wake up are going to be pretty close to each other in this demo aren't they? Well that's it. That's all we have to do to switch from forward to reverse acting. Otherwise they're identical. Let's try it. I'll bring up the GSOFT2 scope function. Adjust my analog pots to mark the sleep and the wake up levels we expect. Turn on the water level LEDs and hit run. PID sees the tank is empty and cranks up the blue drive frequency to try and fill the tank. We see the yellow sensor feedback falling. Remember it falls as the water level rises in a reverse acting system. And when sleep mode sees it cross the red sleep threshold we set the motor turns off. I'll open the valve to simulate demand. The yellow process variable starts to increase telling us the tank level is decreasing. When it crosses the green wake up level the motor starts back up and fills the tank again. Let's speed this up and watch a few cycles. The GS4 drive is now automatically controlling the cycling of the pump in a reverse acting system. Perfect. We said the thresholds are relative to the set point. Let's change the set point to 20% empty which is 12 Hz. That would be around here. So the sleep level should be at 150% of that which is roughly here and the wake level should be 200% of that which is roughly here. Run a couple cycles and sure enough we see the drive wake up the motor after crossing the new wake up level and the drive turn the motor off at the new sleep level. Again those levels were automatically adjusted relative to the new set point that we entered. Delays work exactly the same as in forward acting. I put the set point back at 10% empty and if we set the delays to 2 seconds each and we run a couple cycles we see the drive woke up the motor 2 seconds after the process variable crossed the green wake up threshold and it shut the motor down 2 seconds after crossing the red sleep threshold. And just like in the forward acting demo you get to specify what frequency you want the motor to hold at while waiting for the sleep delay. Maybe you have a mixing application and you want to mix slowly for a while before shutting down to reduce foaming. Or maybe you have a pumping application and you want the pump to run slowly for a bit to top off the tank with less turbulence before shutting the motor down. Being able to specify that min drive speed during the sleep delay is real handy in those kinds of applications. And just like in the previous video you can change the max PID frequency output. I set it to 75% ran the drive and got this. Sure enough the max output frequency is limited to 45 Hz which is 75% of the drive's max 60 Hz. Limiting the drive output frequency is a great way to reduce the stress on your motor if your application doesn't need the full output frequency. Well that ought to be enough to get you started with sleep mode 3 when using a reverse acting system. Click here to learn more about the GS4 drive. Click here to learn about Automation Direct's free support options and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when we publish new videos.